Okay, this is my uh, clay pot heater um, experiment. Now, from just a moment, please ignore this over here. This is the one we want to focus on right now. This is actually lit right now. Um, there's four T lights under there. And I have it insulated, surrounded by rock, brick. There's another brick over here and another brick over here. This is a wooden board, and, the, and then over here, if I remove this, this should, uh, okay. Now this is warm, but I can touch it. Here is some hot air coming out. This isn't so hot that I can't touch it. Okay, under here, you can see the four T lights. Now, if I remove this back brick, I have little rocks under here to keep the whole gizmo from flying up when I take those bricks off. This slides out, and then I can replace my T lights. Now, these T lights have been going since about quarter to four this morning. I decided to test this in the middle of the night. Um, it's now 10 to seven. It was 42 degrees in here when I lit this. And at 6 a.m. it was 50 degrees. And there's no, there was no other heat source at that time. Right now we have a wood stove going, but at that time there was no other source of heat. Um, so this raised the temperature um, 8 degrees in 2 hours and 15 minutes. Um, outside right now, just before sun, um, sunrise, it is 46 degrees, but it was 42 in here. This is a very rustic cabin. There's no insulation. There's a lot of cracks. That's the little wood stove there. A lot of cracks where cold air can get in. Um, previous mornings we've woken up and it's 40 degrees in here in the morning so I think this really did help out now the tea lights I bought 50 for two dollars and fifty cents at Walmart um, they're just the plain little white tea lights the, the colored scented ones only last about two hours so don't buy them if you're trying to save money um, you can probably get a better deal. The candles are probably better quality at Ikea, than, uh, but Walmart is close to my house, so that's where I got these. Now, the night last night, we tested this model, which is three pots bolted together, and I used these um, larger candles. You can see most of the paraffin is gone, but they were all the way up to here. These cost a dollar each and I had four of them under there. And it was in a similar arrangement, except it didn't have bricks all around. It just had, it was just sitting on two bricks. So it wasn't as insulated as this one. Um, but this did not work at all. We found this did not do anything at all. Um, you could touch it and it was quite warm, but we didn't see that it made any difference. And the cost of the paraffin, you know, the candles, I got four of them, a dollar each, four bucks. Basically, we had it lit all night long, and it was 40 degrees when we woke up in here in the morning. This one seems to work good, and this is simply, let's see if I can get this off. This is simply two pots. Now, this pot is probably really hot. Yeah, this pot is very hot. I don't want to leave my hand there. That's a smaller one. It's just got a little bit of aluminum foil on there, blocking that hole up. And this goes on top. And I saw this on YouTube, and I saw this on YouTube. And I wasn't sure. I had used this at home in my office in an insulated room, and it seemed to work. But this test in the middle of the night when it's really cold, um, I think that convinced us that this pot this setup works and that it's very inexpensive. That one, no, we won't do that one again. What I'll probably do with these, the good thing about these is they, 
they have little lids that go on them and I'll put you know you make one of those Crisco oil uh, Crisco shortening candles out of this and then I'll use these four under here instead of the tea lights because the Crisco lights apparently last forever but that's another test for another day so I hope you enjoy the results of my test